Good morning guys, it's currently 8.45. Hi there and welcome back. It's Monday morning, ready for another busy week. Very excited though. I'm just getting ready. I need to leave the house in like 20, 25 minutes max. I've got an event later today at Odeon, which should be really fun. You guys know I love the cinema. But before that, I'm meeting up with Becky and Samantha. We're gonna shoot some content. Um, I have a call at 2 p.m. as well with my podcast manager. And then Kaylee and I will probably have a mini meeting for a bit after that before we get back to shooting. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Looking forward to it. Gonna meet at a cafe. You already know it's gonna be a watch house is this a better angle is this my good side i think i'm starting to learn i would always film on this side but this i don't know this might be my good side i also go to italy next week so this is my last week to kind of like get all my stuff together before that trip i'm gonna finish getting ready get my stuff together pack a few outfits that I have different things to shoot and then we'll get going in the afternoon <laughs> it's later in the late morning it's like 11 a.m. we're shooting some content Becky's taking pictures with Samantha at the moment we are back in the same location Becky and I were at the other day so stunning so come behind the scenes quickly this is the outfit of the day got these beige trousers I thrifted them this trench coat which I also thrifted and then a plain white sweatshirt underneath very simple very minimalist you know the vibes By the time you're watching this, the, the deal won't be on, but we just got free coffee at Grind. They're giving it away today and tomorrow. Um, free oat coffee, because I think it's a promotion with Oatly. You guys know how I love Oatly, so it's perfect. Mm. I got an oat latte. But we just finished shoot. well, we finished shooting at our first location. We're gonna go to Selfridges, because Samantha needs to drop something off, or pick something up. What are you doing? I'm getting a tag removed. <laughs> yes, getting a tag removed. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna shoot some more before we sit down, have our meeting and stuff like that. So we'll catch up in a bit. finished a meeting virtually with our podcast management it went really well we we're talking about um, merch upcoming guests new studio space just a lot of fun things it went on a lot longer than anticipated it was meant to start at 2 until 2 30 but it started at like 2 30 until 3 30 so now we're all kind of just like very slumped very tired um, but we're gonna try go to one more location I've just changed Becky's just finished changing as well so yeah that's the plan been a good afternoon morale is we're slowly getting there Getting there. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're enjoying the juice right now. I took everything in me not to get a stressed down juice. It's so, it's so good. good. I'm so, I've got so much willpower. Um, but yeah, okay. that's the plan. So okay. let's get going. 
guys, we have just finished shooting again. Our second outfit, second location. Didn't film much behind the scenes. My apologies. But it's like now 4.30. We're going to make our way over to Leicester Square. We're in W1, so like Westminster area. So it's going to take us like 20, 25 minutes to head to this Odeon event. We're seeing a movie and then we have to answer some questions. Odeon has like a videographer. They're getting um, Max Belegde from TikTok to ask us like creators some questions about the movie. So should be interesting really looking forward to it looking forward to seeing creed 3 getting some snacks we'll let you know what you think afterwards but yeah let's head over I just got back home from watching Creed 3 and from filming at Odeon. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm just fresh off of like just seeing it. So my emotions are so heightened. But my goodness, the cinematography, the soundtrack, the editing, that direction. Excellent stuff, guys. Excellent stuff. Oh, it was... The soundtrack, I really wanted, I, I really want to play the soundtrack, guys, but I can't because I'll get copyrighted, but my goodness, there was one scene, if you've seen it, you'll know, it's not really a spoiler, but there's a boxing match happening, at one point, it's, the stadium is completely full, and then they edited it, so it was like just the two of them were in the ring, and then there was a camera movement, and then the audience came back simultaneously as a punch was being thrown, and oh, it was just cinematic gold. I just love when you can really tell that a film has done something different, new. There's a fresh feel to it, you know? And then the story as well, like, was just, I was just on the edge of my seat. I loved how they incorporated sign language in there. Really great. Really, really, really great. I'd highly recommend watching Creed 3. So thank you very much to Odeon Cinemas for that experience. That was really fun. After we filmed the video, um, like, talking about our experience with the film and at Odeon, so that will be on Odeon Cinemas um, channel, but my gosh there's just nothing like a good cinema visit and this isn't an ad by the way it's one of my favorite things to do just go to the cinema even by myself i need to get to bed because tomorrow's a really big at home work day and i need to be up 5 15 a.m latest i need to be up i'll probably read for a bit because i haven't read in a minute um and i'm really upset about that just because i've had to be really go 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 with work and i probably should just get up and work so we'll see the vibes actually but 5 15 alarm is being set i would do five but it does feel like the mid of the night low key so 5 15 is like oh yeah this is the morning i just want to chat to you i really just want to talk to you guys but i do need to sleep because as i said it's 9 45 i've just got a new lease of life i love when a film makes you feel so motivated it was just like black excellence in a film amazing soundtrack the open sorry here i am still talking about it the opening credits were like naughty's hip-hop vibes it was just oh really great guys this is the stuff i live for honestly i just love seeing what other people create it's just so inspiring to start and direct that's just incredible and produce like if you think about how much work goes into each of those roles to do that simultaneously and i would love to be on that level of skill and creativity and just excellence one day i'm so inspired i love this feeling i'm gonna sleep we'll catch up later i'm recording in the studio two very special guests on wednesday and thursday so we'll probably catch up then tomorrow i'm just gonna be at my desk the whole day and i really need to focus so yeah we'll catch up wednesday <laughs> bye Right, guys the call went really well i'm just getting ready to leave it is currently wednesday morning it is 10 43 i need to leave the house ideally by 10 50 absolute latest to go to the studio today is super exciting we are recording with ben wiggins he's from you season four he played rolled i don't know whether to go black sweater vest or yellow do you know what i mean i think i'll take both and then let the guys decide we'll see becky is coming to help shoot bts with us so really grateful for that kelly and i are going to meet at watch house becky's going to join us there we're going to head over to the studio and then shoot this episode. Tomorrow we're also shooting another episode with Nell Meskel, who's a musician, and super excited about that. Her music is absolutely amazing. A lot's going on, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, this is not, I don't know, um, I need to go. So yeah, we'll catch up later properly. Um, I'm gonna head. <laughs> I wanna do what I wanna do.
We just finished in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go? Too good. So good. So well. Really good. Great episode. Really oh, good. Great guests. Guys, if you haven't subscribed or followed As Seen In online yet, this is your sign to. Because this this episode is so fun. What are so you doing? Good. Oh, you don't. But um, right now we're gonna go get some food, get some drinks, yes. and then we'll catch up in a bit. All right, it's Saturday afternoon. I am back home. It's been such a busy few days, but a really fun week nonetheless. I'm definitely feeling very overwhelmed. I think my problem is I feel like I'm constantly waiting for things to feel 100% all in place before I can allow myself to be content or happy or whatever. Um, not that I'm unhappy. I just feel like, oh no, 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 no. I'm just getting everything in order. And then like once everything feels perfect, I can relax. I'm slowly figuring out and please tell me if I'm wrong if I'm wrong that would be great but um I'm so figuring out that adulthood is kind of just like doing your best to try find an equilibrium every day like there's I just I don't know maybe I'm wrong but it feels like I am constantly on like a hamster wheel trying to catch up with myself I feel like being overwhelmed it can be for positive and negative reasons obviously and a lot of positive change is happening but for some reason my brain processes the emotion of overwhelm in a negative way so it affects me negatively even when it's good things that are happening which I don't understand understand why but um you know that's a that's a problem for another time <laughs> but um yeah this week was honestly really really fun I had a kickoff call with my new management which went extremely well I'm just so excited about this new chapter we had a call with our podcast manager with some really fun updates there as well I think I spoke about that briefly that Odeon event was so fun our guest episodes went really well Ben and Nell were both such amazing guests they're so kind it just really made me like I just love when people are just kind good people it's just so refreshing I think because I'm chronically online I'm constantly seeing a lot of like hate and drama and all of this not surrounding me but just like out there in general. So it's so nice to have real life human interactions with other people who are just nice people and just have good talks. I think that's one of the best things about having a podcast is just being able to actually have long conversations with people because everything nowadays feels very surface level. I feel like when you talk about art and whatever medium, whether it's music, film, TV, you can really get to know a person and understand them. And I love the correlation between art and real life, like how, as your life evolves, maybe your favorite films and favorite TV shows evolve because it affected you differently at different points in your life or something helped you through this and that. And I, I feel like people sometimes underestimate the power of art. It really just helps us understand ourselves and other people so much. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I have a lot more that I need to get done today. And I also wanna try finish my work around like 4.30 latest. I'm not sure what the next video is gonna be. I do feel like taking just like one week off to recalibrate my brain, but we'll see. It might just be a wholesome like family weekend type of vlog because I'm spending time with a lot of family tomorrow um, and stuff like that. Um, packing for Italy, I'm going to Italy on Tuesday. We'll see the vibes, but I really hope everyone has a great week ahead. Hope you've had a great week as well. Thank you very much for watching, really appreciate it. Um, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos. But yeah, I'm gonna go now, I'll see you next time. So bye. Yeah, really.